All right, so here we are at the Bishop Lake hiking trails right here at the trailhead, right over there. And uh, we're gonna try to do the six miler today. I'm not sure exactly what it's marked at. So we'll come up here, we'll take a look at the map and go from there. Now I've hiked this trail a couple times before. Um, right now it's end of March, about 42 degrees air temp. Uh, it was a little bit misty earlier. Um, I actually like walking this trail this time of year. It's kind of nice. There's not many people out here. So let's take a look at the map. All right, so it looks like we are here and we're gonna hike this trail called the Kachin tra hiking trail, if that's how you pronounce it. Oh wait, I'm sorry, that's the three miler. The Pinocha hiking trail is the one we're gonna do. The blue one right there. So here we go. We're currently at one, make our way to seven, hit 12, and then the next one will be 11. And then it's just basically a countdown. All right, here we go. We made it to 12. So now you have some decisions to make. You can either take the short way or the long way. We're going the long way. the rest of this hike out. And just like that, it stopped. So back the way we just came.
Never mind. Now I did just see there's a road right over here to my left. Headed back towards the parking lot. I did just see a truck that looks like it might be a DNR um, worker, not necessarily DNR officer. Um, there's, you don't really see them too often unless you're up to no good. But uh, this park does have full-time employees, but right now it is the off season. So he did kind of be, he was kind of driving a little bit fast. You can see the road right over there. So we'll see. Pretty sweet for my first ever GoPro video though. And honestly, I would continue walking the trail, but this is out of the ordinary. So I'm gonna go check my phone, see if there's any emergency alerts and uh, go from there. Maybe hop in the truck, drive around, see if I can find a park employee or some other people walking around that might know what's up. But definitely not normal. Although it would be pretty rad if a tornado came whipping through here. I caught it on video. I'm gonna take a quick shortcut into the parking lot. Go around the archery range here. Well, the archery range is right up here to the left, but a little unmarked trail. See, there's almost nobody here. All right, I'm gonna stop recording for now and I'll give you an update when I find out more. Well, it's only been a couple minutes. Basically, as soon as I got halfway across this parking lot, siren stopped. You can hear some people out on the trail, but I'm gonna go ahead and pick up right where I left off. Probably gonna just brush that one off to uh, an electrical test or something, not an actual emergency system test, because that's just abnormal to be happening this time of year. Um, yeah. Let's get back to it.
See that, ladies and gentlemen? That's called someone was being an asshole. I'd pick it up, but I'm continuing. So if I can remember, I'll come back and grab it on my way out. That dog climbs trees. Not at all. That's pretty awesome that you got her climbing trees. She loves that tree. Oh, really? Every time you come over, she, she looks at me as, can I go? And then I have to say, okay, you can go up there. Right. Here, come here, girl. What the heck? <laughs> so you go going to him. He don't, she don't always go to people. No. No. Uh, and you were moving, too. You got dogs, do you? I don't, actually. Yeah, all my friends do. She's not worried about you for something. <laughs> Get a little better in old age. Have you hiked this recently? Uh, not this year. It's been about two oh. years since I last hiked it. I just wondered if you could do the. I'm not doing four and a half today anyway. But is, is it four and a half? Because I always thought it was six. If you if you come back to the two mile one, it's six. Yeah, that's that's it. But what I go I do. straight to the parking lot the other way. Gotcha, gotcha. But there's one section up there where there's like a creek or puddle type thing. Yep, yep, I remember that. And there's and a bridge uh, and everything. Yeah, but I that's towards the end. That was passable. I'll let you know. Are you going there today? I am. I uh, just got this GoPro, oh, so I'm testing go. out how to use it first yeah, time. I, walk, I just rode uh, 15 miles on the bicycle through the gravel roads, all the hills and everything yesterday. Oh, so nice. That's the uh, first time this year doing that, so I'm a little worn out. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you heard that uh, siren go off. Yeah. It was. Do they change the, when they do the testing? Because I thought it was first Saturday. No, this is a this is a different system. Okay. And th this one they don't test all the time. Gotcha. I heard on the radio this morning they were going to run it, and I'd forgotten. Ah, okay. And I pulled up here when I was just getting to the parking lot, and I heard it. I couldn't tell if it was on my radio or outside. <laughs> yeah. Then I opened the windows. Yeah, it's outside. Yeah, it's loud over there at the parking and lot. That don't that don't sound like the regular one they do. Oh, okay. It's yeah. A lot louder and a lot uh, lot longer duration than you usually hear. Gotcha. The one they do at the uh, the first or last Saturday of the month. Yep. Yeah, that's the. Uh, I live over by Marion Township Hall, so. Yeah, that's one you hear all the time. Yep. All right, I got a brisk pace I'm heading. Yeah, so. I'm kind of taking it easy here today. Yep. I'm Nick, by the way. How long does it take you to do that? Uh, last time I did it, it took about an hour, 45 minutes. I think that's about what it takes yeah. me. But when I do that, I come. I quit wearing blue jeans. I'll see what I. These are my bicycle tights. Right, right. Yeah, I just. It's a heck of a lot easier, I tell you. Oh, yeah. Um, these things, these blue jeans, they cramp up on you. You can't. What I like to do is I'll. Normally run a little bit and walk a little bit and run a little bit. That's that's what I'd like to build up to. I'm uh, 
plan on doing a bunch of trips into the mountains, you know, down south, you know, the Appalachians and then out west. So just kind of getting started today, really. Yeah, I go down there. I got a motorcycle. We go down there every year. And yeah, I got, motorcycle those roads down there. Yeah, I got a quad. Um, I was checking out some trails in West Virginia. So I'd like to do a bunch of Actually, riding I'm around there. West Virginia in April. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm hitting it. No, South Carolina. South Carolina, okay. Yeah, we're going to Hilton Head, that's right. Oh, nice. But, uh, yeah. Beautiful down there. Last year it was Florida. I like Virginia better than the Florida. So <laughs> Florida's a bunch of old people and <laughs> terrible driving in down there. Famous but, for the Florida man, too. Yeah. <laughs> Especially on the motorcycle, Florida's terrible. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, I, I prefer that. We go down, we go down there, we do the dragon's tail. Have you ever heard of that? Diamond? I have, yeah. We'll go down ride the dragon's tail. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be fun. Yeah, that's, that's a nice area. You're going hiking down there. I'm going to go hiking, just general exploring, hiking, four-wheeling, mountain biking, you know, all of like it. If you like to do that kind of stuff, have you ever been to Hawking Hills, Ohio? I've driven through it a bunch of times. Yeah, that's, um, nicest, that's on the list, too. Nicest hiking area down there. That uh, and it's close to home. It's only like four, four and a half hours. I think. Yeah, it's a quick, easy drive. You know. I don't camp down there, but there's nice camping. We stayed in hotels when we went down there. They yeah, have, if I were to do Hawking Hills, I'd probably do the same. Yeah, they have waterfalls all over. Mm -hmm. They have. Uh, they've gotten a little more restrictive. When I went down there before, I'm walking like I am with you here. Right. And there's like bushes here you can't see four feet past you. Sure. You walk up over to those bushes and it's straight down to your death. Oh, wow. I mean, it's just straight down. And no barricades, no nothing. I'll definitely have to check there's that a, out. Well, a waterfall, the one waterfall we went to, same thing. You go way up high and it's straight down this waterfall. Nothing to stop you from going walking over the edge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you definitely have to be aware of where you're... Yeah, and I'm up there at the feet. top of it, and there's this lady with a blanket spread out with little kids running around up there. <laughs> <laughs> You're not worried about them, I guess. Yep. Yeah, for me, though, if you uh, if you like to hike and you want to do the mountainous area, that down there is really... Oh, we were down there a few years back, and there, uh, his family was there with a boy that was about 15 or so, and they're looking at it, and we start talking to them. They said that their boy had fallen from the top of that waterfall in the winter time. Oh. He, he was climbing up on it, slipped on the ice. They, the rangers told them that he's the first one that ever survived falling off that waterfall. <laughs> people people fall to their deaths there every year, I think. Oh, wow. Yeah, they don't, uh, they'll have signs telling you, you know. Uh -huh. It's like out in... Uh, just a lot of people that are probably too naive and yeah. think they can handle it. And it's like up to uh, Zion National Park, same thing. You yep. Out there? Not yet, but that I'd like to make my way there. We're hiking out in Zion, there's signs that say uh, eight people fall to their death here every year. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And the, the, but you can. You. I mean, I'm running along a trail, and it's just death this direction. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing like right here. Yeah. <laughs> It's about as extreme as it gets this part of Michigan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Hawking Hills is like that, though. You, there's one little part that, uh, there's a peninsula, oh, maybe twice as wide as this path at best. Mm -hmm. And it jets out, and you walk out on it, and it's death, death, death. <laughs> I mean, straight down, every direction. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. I'm slowing you down. <laughs> oh, oh, you're good. Um, <laughs> You go with him or me? Go ahead, you can go. Go with him, I don't care. <laughs> she, won't, she won't go far from me. Uh, she likes to be in the lead, though. Yeah, I can tell. I have to get me one of them. Oh, that's awesome. You can tell her whatever you want. Her yeah. To. Yeah. Walk it. Come here, you want to? You're a good dog. 
You have fun. Yeah, I'm gonna start moving. That's what you said. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I, I like dogs. Down, oh, I appreciate it. Yeah, she likes this walking thing. Yeah, I'll be out here a bunch over the summer, so maybe yeah, I'll pass bro, you again. I'm Doug. Yep, Nick. Nick? Yep. Tell you, Nick, get a pair of tights if you like to walk. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at trying to upgrade all of my my gear. So, got to kind of get out there, start doing it, yeah. piece it together as I go. But this trail is just too easy to roll out of bed, yeah, you know. And I don't go far. It was about six miles most I ever did. Yep.
this view. much as I enjoy walking with other people out on the trails. I set some parameters for myself today, so I'm trying to stick to them. So, but I did learn some stuff from that gentleman. Little fork in the trail here, with all the blue arrow. And I have to check out Hawken Kills. One thing I wish I would have brought with me today is either a water bottle or my hydration pack. I'm not worried about getting dehydrated or anything out here, but you can tell I'm moving at a brisk pace. So I am exerting some energy and I will be thirsty when I get back to the vehicle. This bench is new since the last time I walked this trail. Let's see who donated it. Bryce Vrooman, Eagle Scout Project, Troop 347, June 2020. I guess it's been longer since I've hiked this one. When COVID-19 first happened and everything shut down, this was a hot spot because nobody was at work or school. And this is, like I mentioned, very close to a lot of small communities, whether it's the city of Brighton, the city of Howell, Hamburg, Pinckney, Whitmore Lake. This is kind of centrally located to all that within a 10 to 15 minute drive. As you can see, there's houses around, as I mentioned prior. So, not really a backcountry type hike, but it's a simple day hike. Never know who you're gonna meet out on the trails. Last time I was here, I actually bumped into an old coworker of mine and uh, we went to high school together. He was several years younger than me, but it was actually right up here. I bumped into him. He's walking. Hadn't seen him in about 10 years. Asked him where he was living. Told me he lives in more Detroit area. And I was like, wow, why are you out all the way out here? He's like, because I know these trails, man. I was like, that's a good point. Shout out to AJ Raleigh.
It's your personal private trail going to the subdivision. Another little private trail. Oh, look at that. Found ourselves a corner section. Let's see. Livingston County Monumentation Corner. Oh, Boss Engineering. Well, I don't know if Boss Engineering, but EL Boss. Look at that. Used to work for Boss Engineering for a brief period. I'm kind of a nerd when it comes to surveying stuff. Stop those invasive hitchhikers, people. All right, here we are. Number 11. So we started out here in the parking lot, then our way all the way down, kind of met that gentleman right about here. Walked with him till probably here. And we are here now. This is more or less a road stretch. As you can tell, this is a little private drive, I think. And uh, it's like 10 is the next one, and then nine after that. So you gotta walk across somebody's driveway and then onto an actual public road. Not much traffic on this road. It's kind of uh, no reason to be driving down. It's not a through route unless you live off of it. So don't really have to worry about traffic too much. Wyman's Lake, I believe, is to our south or to my right. Uh, probably half mile or so, maybe less. Speaking of traffic. So this is an unofficial way to get to the trail. Um, it's a shortcut though. Oh. 
Where's the other one? See, we're still on the trail. All right, we just came from way down there. And we are at number nine, or 10, headed to nine. Have to change out the battery here soon. so far although I don't actually think those markers are accurate Or there might not be mile markers at all. Might not have enough battery to finish this hike, but we will see. I'm at 48%. Thought that battery that I just put in there is charged a lot more. I only had the battery in the camera and the one in my pocket. Like I said, this is more of a test run of the new equipment. So See what happens.
is kind of a unique piece of terrain right here. I'd go off trail if I were hunting or something, but when I'm just walking, I don't like to disturb the off trail. But you can see pretty far out from right here. Um, had a, that's the east over there. And it's kind of hard to eyeball how far you can actually see, but I kind of know you're looking out about five, six miles there. Well, maybe not that far, probably about four. How you doing? The reason why I don't like to go off trail, unless I'm hunting or I actually have a real reason to be off the trail is because this is public land and it's available to anybody. So you kind of want to preserve it for their use and there's really no reason to go off trail. You can see everything that you need to from the trail and the land will stay looking how it is for years and years to come. Look at that, you know, how cool is that? It would be fun to climb up that ridge though. Got another new bench. Let's see who put this one in. Rest, breathe, enjoy the view. Mimi Sandra Moore Gun. I'd rest, but I'm running low on battery. Now, right now there's no leaves, no foliage, no canopy, so you can actually see the ridge, but I almost bet that during the summer months when everything's green and this is all shaded, that you probably wouldn't be able to see the top of that ridge up there. I have been here in the summer and it is beautiful though. Lots of oak trees around so this is a good fall hiking spot too. See some colors, you know, if you're not trying to go all the way into northern Michigan or elsewhere and you just hey, it's a Thursday night let's go do something it's a good spot to check it out just be aware that certain parts of Brighton recreation area in general is open to hunters so wear bright colors or wear one of those hunter orange vests if you don't have one it's pretty easy to get but it's for your safety and also for the hunter's safety. Yep. See, that's where we just, we're walking up on the other side.
I was just talking about wearing bright orange or bright colors during hunting season. Technically, it's hunting season right now. Small game is open. Uh, there might be some other species. I'm not sure off the top of my head. I don't do too much springtime hunting other than turkey occasionally. And as you can see, I'm wearing black, so I'm not really even following my own advice, but I doubt anybody's out here squirrel hunting right now. Or rabbit hunting. And if they are, they're not going to be doing it close to a hiking trail where there's people. But during prime time in the fall, this location is only about 45 minutes away from Detroit, which is a very large populated area. Technically, Brighton is considered Metro Detroit, so is Howell. Um, so there's hundreds of thousands, if not a couple million people living within a one hour drive of this place. So you have a bunch of people that don't have access right out their backyard, living towards the city. This is a good spot for them to come hunting. So any given day, there could be zero hunters or there could be 500 hunters out here. It's just whoever knows about it. I doubt there's 500, but there's always the potential. So if you're just a hiker, unfamiliar with the uh, hunting aspect of the outdoors, please at least do yourself a favor. Look at the hunting dates for game species, as well as the area you're hiking on on state land, if it is open to public hunting or not. Let's go right. Looks like somebody's been out here with a side by side or four wheeler. Another bench. Bryce Vrooman, Eagle Scout Project, Troop 347, June 2020. Those of you wondering, no, I was not a Boy Scout.
We can put some here, shall we? Taking care of wildlife. It's all wetlands off to my left. Obviously it's early springtime, so not much water yet. I think yesterday was actually the first day of spring. Could be mistaken on that. Oh, it looks like the water actually is a bit high. parking pull off area there forget which road this is but it's all on the map signage courtesy of troop 347 
scenic overview with a bench. It's grown up probably since they installed the bench. A couple of these trees could probably be topped off, but nice little view. believe that is a bike trail right there. They got some mountain biking trails, a couple different uh, skill level trails too. Stay tuned on my YouTube channel because maybe I'll be uploading some mountain biking videos eventually. Like and subscribe. And be sure to hit that notification bell. <laughs> so we've seen two people walk in the opposite direction of me one the same direction of me. Now I've only gone this direction on the trail, never gone reverse. I don't know why, but who knows? Maybe the guys walking the other way are left-handed and me and the other dude, Doug, but we're both right-handed. Who knows? All right, another bench. It's actually a nice view. Zoom out for a second. Now, let's go.
that's a bummer. My battery died with about a mile to go on this trail. Um, I don't think my car charger is charging the batteries as much as they should be because this battery that I just put in is at 50%. So there are brand new, brand new equipment, like I mentioned earlier. Just this was more or less a test run, but uh, come back over here to the map, show you where I was when the battery went out and where we are now. Let's see, so we had passed nine roughly. Get a stick here. I was roughly right here when the battery died, came up to eight. And then quick shot right back to parking lot. Didn't miss much, but I'll be hiking this trail again. So I'll try to come back out here and get full footage next time. Uh, it's an awesome trail, but I'm just wearing work boots today. So my feet are kind of toast. Not really good planning on my end, but I figured what the heck, why not? Let's do it. And uh, yeah beautiful beautiful area a few more people started showing up into the parking lot i noticed this on it as i was walking out um for all of you bikers out there got a nice little air pump some tools pretty cool obviously a porta -po porta potty it's lost and found nice little area not bad for a wednesday afternoon early afternoon Out there is Bishop Lake. That whole area right there is kind of a public day use area with lake access. I think sometimes in the summer they'll actually have a pavilion with concessions. It's been several years since I've been out here, but we used to come out here as kids and play volleyball and all that fun stuff. So, till next time. Well, changed my mind. I'm gonna go back, complete the footage that I set out to do today. All right, I think I'm in roughly the same spot, if not a little bit past or before, but it's roughly the same area where battery died. So we're gonna continue this hike from here on out, all the way. Really not a bad hike, but when you got to backtrack, it's just kind of a bummer because you complete it and you're like, oh, I gotta go back in. All right. So, added to the mileage, but it's a good thing. Good for the body, good for the soul. I actually like this little stretch of trail coming up. We got a little bit of the pines. So this time of year, it's where you can actually see some green. Now, I could be mistaken. We'll have to look at the map again. But I believe there is a cabin up there a little ways back that you can actually rent out.
X marks the spot. I saw that on my way out the first time. Actually, on my way out, the first time, I passed a bunch of people, um, probably four or five mountain bikers. Uh, again, the mountain biking trail is off to the right here. You can kind of see it sporadically, one of them at least. And then I saw another hiker. But we're getting close to the three-mile loop right up here. Yep, we just came off the Pinocha Trail, and there's the Kachin, or Ketchin hiking trail. Not sure, we're at eight, so we're right here. Right here, like I said, we were somewhere in that area where we lost battery. So now we're just gonna shoot straight back to seven. Pretty easy. actually seemed like a lot longer of a distance the first time. Which, if my memory serves me correctly, a couple years ago when I was hiking these trails quite frequently, first time I hiked it, I thought this trail would never end. And then the next day, next time I came out, a couple days later, hiked it again. I was like, oh, that's it? Now what do I do for the rest of the day? I just hope that I have good angle with how I set the camera up on the chest rig. Otherwise, I'm going to be doing this all over again. Definitely going to be pouring myself a glass of that barrel-aged Kentucky spicy water when I get home.
Like I mentioned earlier, I don't think those posts are actual distances. They might be, but I don't think they are. Because a lot of the literature that you can read on this trail system, it's not a big trail system to begin with, but it'll say like 6.2 miles, 5.8 miles. But we're actually pretty close to the trailhead. And that said four and a half. So who knows? Either way, it's very enjoyable. And I'm also moving at a very brisk pace because I treat my hikes more of a workout to better condition my body for when I'm ready to get into some of the bigger trail systems, do some overnight stuff. So that way I can move quickly without really exerting much effort Give me more time for sightseeing activities, such as all those benches that we saw earlier. That's uh, the mountain biking trail right there. Step onto it for a moment. You can kind of see it right here. Wraps around, goes that way. Comes from this direction. Pretty neat. I've never actually been on it. Have a couple friends that have been on it. They say it's pretty fun. So check it out here soon Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Now back to where we started. So, now there's part of the entrance we're going to. I'll show you the split. So, right, right there is actually where we started the trail. It's actually where we started down here, but it does kind of be off so you can take either direction. But you end up at the same spot as long as you follow the markers. Right here, and it's up back at seven. It's the actual split for which direction you want to take. So, you can go left, you can go right. We started with right, got the radio sirens, all that going on. but. Now going back to the truck again. This has been the longest hike on this trail that I've ever done, time wise. So maybe for the next one, I'll do a three mile loop. Here we go. So I do want to mention when I came back to change out the battery, I also changed out my shoes. I was wearing my work boots, which are great work boots, always comfortable. But that's what I was hiking in for the majority of it. Then I changed these, they're just murals. I don't know which ones, but I just bought them, tested them out, picked them up at REI. Let's see what part they call it. There you are, the Moab 3 Mid WP. So break them in a little bit, see if I like them. If not, get a new set. It's been fun. Hopefully I can figure out how to edit this video now. Uh, I'm going to be doing a bunch of videos, all things outdoors. As long as it's outside, I'm going to be taking video of it. Uh, my passions are, it is the outdoors, but everything from hiking, fishing, camping, hunting, ORV riding, beaver catching, trapping, everything. If it's outside, you name it, I'm doing it. I'm going to take some video of it, share it with the world and all my loved ones back home. So like and subscribe to the channel. Whatever the channel is going to be, I don't have a name for it yet, or catchphrase or anything like that. But I'm going to be doing a lot of footage here beginning today. So, until next time.